I welcome all of you to this video. In the previous class, we studied about quadratic equations and its general form. Today, in this video, we will learn how to solve quadratic equations by factorization. You have already studied that a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Where the value of a is never 0, because then it will become a linear equation and not a quadratic equation. Can you tell the maximum number of solutions a quadratic equation can have? Very good. Can have maximum two solutions. How did you know this? A quadratic equation has 2 as the highest degree. Hence, a quadratic equation can have maximum 2 solutions. Do you know how to solve a quadratic equation by using factors? A sculptor makes some sculptures in a day. The cost in rupees of one sculpture is equal to the number of sculptures made in one day minus 70. On a particular day, the sculptures cost rupees 1800. Find the number of sculptures made that day. To find the number of sculptures, we first need to make a quadratic equation. Pause the video and match your equation. With the help of above information, Let's solve the quadratic equation further. Let's break the middle term of equation minus 70 in two parts as minus 90 and plus 20. Therefore, on solving the quadratic equation x square minus 90x plus 20x minus 1800 is equal to 0, we can write the equation 2 as a product of its factors as x plus 20, x minus 90. On solving further, we will equate each of the linear factors to 0, which gives us x plus 20 is equal to 0 or x minus 90 is equal to 0, that is, x is equal to minus 20 or x is equal to 90. Therefore, x is equal to minus 20 and x is equal to 90 are the solutions to the given quadratic equation. Since we need to find the number of sculptures made and it cannot be negative, hence, there were 90 sculptures made that day. On substituting the value of x as 90 in equation 1, We get it equal to 0, which proves that our answer, x is equal to 90, is absolutely right. In this video, we learned how to solve a quadratic equation by using factorization method. We will practice what we learned today in the next video.